I'm gonna start recording. But but yeah, so like I said, um I need to make this sound right so that I can sound refined, so I can sound intelligent. <clears throat> Based on Oh uh, I already forgot what this is. In. Almost 40 years later, it was adapted by Wes Anderson and Noah Baum Baumbach. I I forgot. Oh, I did an oopsie in the script here. The five others keep going until they find. Oh, that was a little peek there. I think. Oh, what a fantastic fox your father is! Hurry up, child, and start plucking those chickens. Ha! Huh. I I've turned Mrs. Fox into Mickey apparently. As Mr. Fox continues digging with the shush phone. Now let's see what Anderson and Baumbach built off of it. I'm gonna do that again. But it was a starting point. Now let's see what Anderson and Baumbach d built off of it. I can't. That name always gets me. Baumbach. 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 Now let's see what Anderson and Baumbach built off of it. Yeah, I did it. Wee. The way our eyes smoothly moves left to right across the screens as Bunce sits oblivious. Oblivious. Obliviate. As Bunce gets obliviated. As Bunce sits oblivious. As Bunce sits unaware. Bean Air, what does that even mean? How much does Bean really control? How far does his evil. Oh, that beat. The last shred of his old pride. And turns it into shreds. Pearl. Pearl. The series follows Gyun, a Korean far, a Korean blah, that the tier of Squid Game antagonists goes from pink masked soldiers. The villain of the games for so long was Doc Su, but slowly it pivots to Gyun's to Gyun's friend Songwoo. And just before the Marvel game, again he offered to pale. In case you're wondering, <clears throat> the fight scenes are also smart, are smart, but are forbidden from interfering in who. Oh my God! Why, why, why can't I record right now? The movie's debate about the value of human life ends up being hollow because of that. Our series featured the eponymous characters just going about their day-to-day -day business pretty quietly. Conflicts were on my. Sorry, Apple started recording me as I was doing that, and it just... <laughs> Siri was taking down a whole paragraph's worth of commands. Come on. Belgian illustrator Monique Martin. That's weird, because, like, the, for both times I said that, that suddenly activated Siri. Come on. Oh, wait a minute. I think when I said her series, that activated Siri. <laughs> Siri, I thought you weren't supposed to listen in on us at all times. Well, I guess they are supposed to do that. When George Orwell predicted that there is going to be, like, mandatory microphones in everybody's home, I don't think he foresaw that we would just buy them of our own volition. So we are very smart and intelligent. Now let me keep speaking into my microphone. Um... <laughs> It's pretty good. It's like, it's not, it's not like, su it uh, depends on what it is. Like a lot of people think it's super great. Other people are like, oh, that's pretty good. I feel like it is, I don't like to use this word a lot because it gets like so abused. Like people say Endgame is underrated when it's literally the top grossing movie of all time. But <laughs> it's, um, I do feel like Rise of the Guardians is a bit underrated. Like not a lot of people talk about it. But I think that it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I feel like it would have been good to see like more movies from it, but you know, Jeff, Mr. Katzenberg did whatever the hell he was doing. One day, Celestine becomes old enough to go on her first tooth collecting mission. Oh, I do have to fix that actually, because I don't think it was her first tooth collecting mission. It was just a tooth collecting mission that she was on. What was I thinking when I was writing this? What the hell? I feel it's not a stretch to suggest that this idea of a forbidden yet liberating culture influenced. Blah. 
honestly, I don't even know how else to argue this point because it seems so elf... elf evident. <laughs> honestly, I don't even know how to... Oh my god, ah. Water, glorious water. Magical water. Anyways, Ariel and her friends realize that the woman who quote-unquote won over Eric is Ursula. <coughs> oh god. <laughs> my, my, my throat just decided, nope, not gonna finish that. Not, not gonna finish that word for whatever reason. So a whole bunch of wacky shenanigans ensue. The voice shall shad... Why did I write this for myself? Just a second too late. And then... I think you'll say that, and then it's like, it'll be like, oh no, the sun sets, and it's like, ah, ha, 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 and it's like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> well, it's simple. They want to throw their old animated classics under the bus, so we'll buy tickets and merchandise to the new, better, more socially conscious live-action Little Mermaid. Oh, gosh. It's about choosing to help them find help. Blah. Ooh. Getting a proper conclusion instead of either being cut short or allowed to rot for all. Why can't I do this right now? I even once reached out to the series Composure. Composure? Hell, I even once re The cast and crew were all fantastic. Hell, I even once reached out to the series Composer Brad B. And then for Griggs and... Griggs and... Why can't I do this right now? But his lack of summerween spirit summons the summerween trickster. No, no, no! Yes, yes, burn the child. <laughs> Mabel is very rationally angry at him because it turns out he did not listen to her. Come on, I ran out of breath on that one. Why do I write these long sentences to myself? I use lots of commas. There's lots of commas. You want you, you you want more commas? You want more commas? Look. All right, it's bill time. Bill time. It's bill time. Get ready for bill time. Oh my god, the garbage truck. I don't know if you can hear, it, but it's like it's beeping outside. Gideon rises. The season finale where Gideon has seized control of the mystery shack. I think I stumbled there a little bit. Until we see him go behind the 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 mending machine. But anyways, yes, Gideon Rises is a fantastic season finale. I didn't say rises. But anyways, yes, Gideon Rises is a fantastic season finale. I. Oh my God! Why can't I do this? Why can I not read the words that I wrote for myself to read? She tries to enlist them for help, but it goes... Why did I write this word and I don't know how to pronounce it? It goes awry. Awry. Th that's how you pronounce it, right? Awry? Episode 28. Blendon's Game. I almost said Blendon's Glame. Mabel feels bad for him and tries to help him find true love again with the help of a mysterious cherubim. 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 How do I actually? Let me ba -ba 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 -ba. According to this website, it's Cherubim. I wonder what Dipper's up to in his B plot. Well, you know, not much. Just finding out that Ford made a deal with Bill and let him into his mind. Oh, that sounded. Dipper and Ford tried to take down the Dean. Dipper and Ford tried to take down Dream. Every member of the Pines family has made a deal with Bill. Every single one. But only one of them was smart enough. Stan is left kneeling on the ground. But without any... But you have to step out of that vacuum and compare it to another... When you combine them, they create a visual jolt that coincides with crescendo of the music. To start, I want to point out this little change they do. Really rather small. Smar. Smarl. Smarl smarks. And then Scar rips Mufasa's grip from the Fun fact, did you know that the original people who storyboarded these shots didn't get- 
Oh, hey, thanks. That reminds me that this abomination is next in my light. In my lights? And I will not savor your pleasing odors. I will make your... Combined with the fact that Tippett Studio, his visual effects company, is getting busier and busier, his pet project wouldn't be viable any longer. Based on Le Transpersonage, a French graphic novel. Transpersonage. Okay. <clears throat> Based on land. Oh god. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna uh, re-record the first bit again, just cause I feel like I I still linger on the transpersonage because am I like that's a big word? It's a big word. Base. <clears throat> no. I'm trying to speak faster. I'm trying to be a good YouTuber. I'm also trying to kind of like fit with the mood because like this is going to kind of be. I'm going to open with like the the music is like da 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 da, which um, so it's like it'll be kind of like a dramatic entrance. Life will go on, and now they can make a website all about their new adventures in this brave new world using Squarespace, the sponsor of today's video. Though it could be hard for them to find food in this snowy wilderness. Which is why they could use this week's sponsor, HelloFresh! And all hell breaks loose, as they jam open the access doors to the rest of the train. I think it's worth mentioning at this point that when I first watched this, I was eating takeout. Yeah, I, I can't eat Burger King to this day. She's suddenly terrified. And then they'll go, boom, boom, boom. I gave myself hiccups. He's very carefully quelling Namgung's idea, reinforcing. And for a moment, it seems that maybe Curtis and Wilford's goals do align. For a m Why do I make these weird sounds with my body? There are moments where two shots are cut together where a mo- There are moments where two co- <sighs> Just the way he is. <laughs> <laughs> For example, in a Variety interview, he emphasized that this is not an indie movie. This is not stunned. Bros takes particular delight in lamp. And in a world where I saw some of my other beloved books getting adaptations. Actually, I'm gonna change that. Disney's Artemis Fowl has one of the most broken scripts and some of the most baffling directing and edited. On a separate note, I know a lot has been said about how Artemis Fowl, the movie, differs radic- Differs. Why did I write this for myself to read? He's cold and uncooperative, and tries to one-up the psychologist with a smug look on his face. On his face. This man is interrogated, and introduced to us- I don't know what this burden of- I don't know what this burden of his fowl- you compare this to other movies, you really feel like this is a truly fantastical setting here. You feel like this is another world here. Oh, someone just opened the door. <clears throat> no, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna curse. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna curse. I- You know, demonetize me. I don't give a shit. That- that- that's a- that, that's a joke. Please give me money, YouTube. Anyways, she agrees to use the all-powerful MacGuffin to bring back Artemis's foul. Artemis's father- is just never in the picture. He got blown up by the ro Russian. He got blown up by the Russian mafia. He got blown up by the Russian mafia before the events of the book. I, there it is again, Russian mafia. These are still found in the films, and that's. <laughs> oh my god. No, I did like a burp hiccup. A, a hick burp. I, I'm never using that word again. <laughs> 